Welcome to Cal Poly's Cal State Apply tutorial series. In this video, we will be covering the program materials quadrant. To begin, click on program materials. If you're applying to more than one CSU campus, you'll see them all listed here. If any of the campuses already have a check mark, that means that no further action is required for that specific campus. However, if there is not a check mark, that means that there are going to be additional questions that you will need to answer. So go ahead and click on Cal Poly. This first page that comes up is just a summary of the program that you're applying to. You're going to want to navigate over to the questions tab and click on that. Now the first there is just an acknowledgement that you can read through and click on if you so choose. We'll then scroll down and read through and click on the release of contact information acknowledgements. And then you'll choose your appropriate applicant level, which is a first year graduating high school, a transfer, or an international, which is, could be first year or transfer. For international, that's for the, the applicants who indicated when they were creating their, their account that they will need an F1 student visa or a J1 exchange visa. For the first year applicants, go ahead and click on first year. And then there are going to be two acknowledgements that you're going to read through and click on. The first acknowledgement is indicating that you have entered all of your coursework under the correct grade level, that you have entered all of your in progress and plan 12th grade coursework, and that you have appropriately assigned courses to their A through G areas. The second acknowledgement is indicating that if you have taken any algebra or higher math courses or language other than English courses in middle school and continued the course progression in high school that you must enter the middle school courses into your application to receive consideration for them. The courses must be entered into the high school coursework area and the A through G matching areas. When you click on the acknowledgements, you will see at the top that it says save and continue. You can go ahead and click on that and you're done with that section. For transfer applicants, you are going to be entering in your work experience and extracurricular activities. For the work experience, you're going to enter in the average number of hours worked per week over the most recent 36 months, which can include any full-time, part-time, or internship work experience. And this can be paid or not paid. You will then indicate if 25% or more of your work was related to your Cal Poly major of choice and you say yes or no. For the extracurricular activities, you will again select the average number of hours per week that you were involved in extracurricular activities during the last 36 months. You will then indicate if for any of those extracurricular activities, if you held any leadership positions and you say yes or no. When you complete that, you can go ahead and click on save and continue. For the international applicants, you'll have the same questions as the transfers did, which is regarding recent employment and recent extracurricular activities. Again, you will just put the average number of hours worked per week over the most recent 36 months, and then indicate if 25% or more of your work was related to your major of choice. For the extracurricular activities, again, the average number of hours per week that you were involved in extracurricular activities during the last 36 months. And then you will indicate if you had held any leadership positions in these activities. You will then see that it says save and continue. Go ahead and click on that. And you have completed that section. So thank you for watching and feel free to contact our office with any questions. We wish you the best of luck.